Hi, Assalamualaikum. With me again, Teacher Rin. Okay, in this video, we will learn Mathematics Form 2, Chapter 9, Speed and Acceleration, 9.1 Speed. Okay, the learning standard is 9.1.1. Explain the meaning of speed as a rate involving distance and time. Okay, here I share with you some pictures showing about the speed limit that you can see around us. Okay, for example, this is the speed limit in Malaysia for a different location, whether in city, a village or uh, on the highway. Okay, here also uh, I show to you the speed limit that is printed behind the bus showing that uh, the bus must not exceed the speed limit of 90 km an hour uh, if the bus is on the highway okay what if what if the what is the consequences if the bus uh, going over the speed limit i think all of you will know what will happen okay they will get summon from the government all right okay to understand what is uh, actually speed uh, i will show to you a video clip in this video uh, the run the runners are running in 100 meter competition okay Okay, in this video, how can you determine which one of them okay, is the winner? Okay, of course, we will... Um, pick one of them which has the fastest running time right so the winner is the one who have the time the lowest time taken to finish all 100 meter okay what is actually speed what is the relationship between speed uh, distance and time okay this is uh, we will learn in this topic okay what is actually speed? Speed is the ratio of distance over time. This is the formula. Speed equals to distance over time. Okay, this is uh, the triangle DST. I call it DST. Uh, and I will explain to you further what is the use of this triangle later. Okay, before that, I will show to you some example to make sure that you understand what is speed and how to find a speed for some situation. Example 1. Amal is walking 100 meter to his school for 5 minutes. Calculate his speed. Okay, to answer this type of question, what you need to know, what you need to do is determine what is the uh, information that is given in the question for example 100 meter 100 meter is the distance taken and then five minute the time and the speed is uh, the one is asked in the question so speed is s all right from the formula that i have given to you speed is equal to distance divided by time so you, we just take the information given and put in the formula okay distance 100 meter and then the time is 5 minutes so it is easy 100 divided by 5 the answer is 20 meter per minute okay so how to um, answer this we just say that amal walks 20 meter every minute 
Okay, how about example 2? Okay, distance between Alor Star and Kuala Lumpur is 432 km. Akif and Aisa drive their cars from Alor Star to Kuala Lumpur to attend a meeting. Akif takes 6 hours to reach Kuala Lumpur, while Aisa takes 2 hours faster than Akif. Calculate the speed for their cars. Okay, how to calculate the speed? Yes, I have uh, told you before about the formula, which is speed equals to distance over time. So you just take the distance here is 432 km and the time taken for Akif is 6 hours. So uh, the answer is 72 km per hour. How about Aisa? Aisa just taken the same distance which is 432 km over time. How about the time taken for Aisa? It is 6 minus 2 because he takes 2 hours faster than Akif. So the uh, time taken for Aisa is for 6 minus 2 hours. So the answer for speed for Aisa's car is 108 km per hour. Okay. If you, if you see here, what is asked in the question is just calculate the speed. So that is the answer. If the, uh, the question asks something else, uh, whether who is the faster, who is, um, what is the difference between their car, okay, you just need to do uh, further calculation. Okay, so from that, uh, from those two examples, okay, I can conclude that okay, how to find the speed is using the formula speed equals to distance over time. Before we conclude the formula uh, that we learned today, here are some tips. Okay, tips. First tips. Okay, you can get these tips on the textbook. Uh, tips number one. If I walk 10 km in an hour, then my speed is... 10 km per hour. That is how you you can write it. Alright. If a particle move 1 meter in 1 second, then the speed of the particle is 1 meter per second. Okay. That is the way you write the, uh, the word meter in 1 second. The second tip is how to read it. Okay. For example, this m per min is read as meter per minute. Okay, so uh, here are our conclusion for this uh, video. Speed is the ratio of distance over time. Okay, and then I have shown to you a triangle um, having those uh, alphabet D, S, and T. What is the alphabet stands for? Okay, D is for distance, S is for speed, and time is for sorry t is for time okay how to use this okay if the answer the question are asking you the distance so what you need to do is you close or cover the d all right the distance so what is remain here is s and t okay if the remaining is like this it it shows that s must be multiplied by t okay the, so the distance is speed multiplied by time all right Okay, how about if the question are asking about speed? Yes, we use the formula that I've given, which is uh, distance divided by time. Okay, here we cover the alphabet S and the remaining is D and T, but D is um, placed the, on the upper side of the triangle. So D divided by T. And then the final one is what if the question are asking about time? Okay, we just need to cover the T and then what is remaining is D and S and uh, how to determine the formula that you need to use to find the T is D distance divided by speed. Okay, that's all I think you need to know in this subtopic. In this uh, learning standard 9.1.1, I hope it will be easier for you to learn this topic 
in the future. So, see you in the next video. Assalamualaikum and happy studying. Thank <music> you.